Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineer Math Channel. Sa video na to ay mag-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics which is Calculator Techniques Part 7. Okay, so dito sa Calculator Techniques Part 7, ang particular din na ituturo ko sa inyo ay Implicit Differentiation. So magsasagot tayo ulit ng sets of questions. Let's start with question number 1. So find y prime for xy plus x squared y squared equals 1. Okay, so implicit differentiation nga kasi hindi natin pwedeng ma-solve yung y explicitly in terms of x sa ganitong equation na tulad nito. So, ang gagamitin natin dito sa calculator techniques ay approximation. So, ay approximate natin na y prime is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Kung saan, dapat yung delta x natin ay sobrang liit or yung difference ng x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, let's say x sub 1 natin is 0 0.1. Magsiset tayo ng value. Then, x sub 2 is x sub 1 plus delta x. So, let's say yung delta x natin is yung lagi kong ginagamit, yung 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power. So, 0 0.1 plus 1 times 10 raised to the negative power. Okay? So, ang magiging calculator techniques natin dito, isasolve natin yung corresponding value ng y sub 1 when x sub 1 is equal to 0 0.1. Then, store nyo to sa a. And then, isasolve natin yung value ng y sub 2, this time when x sub 2 is 0 0.1 plus delta x na 1 times 10 is the negative 5 power. And then, store nyo sa b. So, ang formula bale is b minus a over yung delta x natin na 1 times 10 is the negative 5 power. Okay, so, store nyo ngayon yung pinakasagot nyo dito sa, let's say, sa C. And then, evaluate nyo yung each choices dun sa value nung x na 0 0.1 tapos dun sa value nung y na in-store nyo at x sub 1 is 0 0.1 which is yung nakastore sa A. Okay? And then, divide nyo dun sa na starting yung value sa C, kung anong mag-1 dun sa choices, then that's the answer. So, try natin. Okay, so, yung first step, is to solve natin yung value ng Y when X is equal to yung sinet natin na 0 0.1. So, alam ko naturo ko na to sa inyo eh. Yung gagamit tayo ng comma. So, press nat so input mo natin yung equation. The bang equation is alpha X times alpha Y plus alpha x squared times alpha y squared then alpha equal 1 and then press yung shift close parenthesis kasi nandito yung comma na symbol okay so shift comma okay and then isasolve natin si y diba so press nyo alpha y so ibig sabihin nito isasolve natin yung value ng y dito sa equation na to when we have a certain value of x na isiset natin, which is yung 0 0.1. So, press shift solve. Okay, so magkatanong siya ng value ng x. So, 0 0.1, diba? So, 0 0.1 equals, then solve for y. So, pwede kayong maglagay ng value dito na hula nyo na close enough doon sa value ng y. So, let's say 1. Then, press equal. So, solve nyo si y. Okay, so ito yung nasolve yung value for y. Shift store A nyo. Okay? And then, this time, solve naman ulit natin yung value ng y. This time at x sub 2, which is yung sinet natin na 0 0.1 plus delta x na 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power. So, copy ulit natin yung equation. Alpha x, alpha y plus alpha x squared, alpha y squared equals 1. Shift, comma, then alpha y. Shift solve. So, this time 0 0.1 plus 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power na. Okay? Then, solve for y. Let's say 1 ulit. Okay? So, shape store B naman. Okay? And then, gamitin na natin yung formula. Yung B minus A over delta X. So, alpha B minus alpha 
a over delta x na 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power. Okay, so shift store C. Ngayon, isa-isa natin yung choices kung ano ba yung magiging equal dito. So, doon muna tayo sa A. Y prime is equal to negative 2xy squared plus y over 2x squared y plus x. So, input natin. So, may negative sa unahan. So, 2 alpha x alpha y squared plus alpha y over 2 alpha x squared alpha y plus alpha x. And then, count natin. Yung x is... 0.1 dapat, yung y, yung in-store natin dun sa a, yung first value ng y at x is equal to 0 0.1. So, press nyo, alpha a. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung nakuha natin sagot. Try natin i-divide sa alpha c kung magwa 1. So, approximately 1. So, therefore, ito yung sagot natin. Letter a. Okay? Okay. So, therefore, the answer is letter a. Okay? Next, we have Find y prime from x cos y plus y sin x equals 1. Okay, so same formula. y prime will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Let's say x sub 1 natin is 0 0.1 and x sub 2 is 0 0.1 plus yung delta x na 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5 power. And then, hanapin natin yung value nung y sub 1 at x sub 1 equals 0 0.1. Same technique dun sa example 1. Same as value nung y sub 2 at x sub 2 equals 0 0.1 plus delta x. And then, store natin ito sa a, store natin ito sa b. And then, solve for the y prime by the formula b minus a over delta x or x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then, let's say, store nyo sa c. Then, evaluate nyo each choices doon sa value ng x na 0 0.1 at ng value ng y at x sub 1, 0 0.1 na nakastore sa A. Then, divide nyo sa C kung anong mag-equal sa 1, then that's the answer. Okay? So, try natin. Okay, so, first of all, since involved tayo ng trigo function sa equation, dapat nakarad yung calcul natin. So, shift mode 4. Okay, so, rad. So, input muna natin yung equation, yung alpha x cos alpha y plus alpha y sin alpha x equals 1 then shift comma solve for y shift solve set tayo, set tayo ng value ng x yung binigay kong 0 0.1 okay then solve for y let's say mag assign tayo ng value ng y as 1 equals okay so shift store a Okay, then solve uli natin yung equation for y. So, input natin alpha x cos alpha y plus alpha y sine alpha x equals 1. Shift comma solve for y. Shift solve. This time, ang value naman natin ng x ay 0 0.1 plus yung delta x na 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5. Then, solve for y. Assign ulit tayo ng value ng y na 1. Then, solve for y. Okay, then shift store B. So, yung formula natin for y prime is alpha B minus alpha A over yung delta x na 1 raised to negative 5 equals. So, shift store C. So, compare natin mamaya sa C yung mga choices. Doon muna tayo sa letter A. So, y cos x plus cos y over x sin y minus sin x. So, alpha y cos alpha x plus cos alpha y over al over alpha x sin alpha y minus sin alpha x then then calc evaluate natin sa value ng y yung nakastore sa a so alpha a and then sa value ng x yung original na 0 0.1 equal okay so divide natin sa c kung magwawan ba divide alpha c Okay, so approximately 1. So therefore, the answer is letter A kasi equal sila. Okay? So therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have find y prime of x cubed y to the 5th plus 3x is equal to 8y cubed plus 1 at 0 comma negative 1 half. Okay, same procedure at same formula. Y prime is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 
But this time, yung x sub 1 natin, since meron tayong given point, yun yung i-assign natin, 0. Tapos yung x sub 2 will be 0 plus yung delta x na 1 times 10 raised to the negative 5. So solve for y when x sub 1 is equal to 0. Then store sa a yung value. Solve for y when x sub 2 is 0 plus delta x. So y sub 2, store yung value sa b. Then formula, b minus a over delta x. Then masasolve yung value dito, this time ay constant. So, pag nakuha nyo na yung value ng constant, compare nyo na dun sa choices kung saan siya malapit. Okay? Okay, so input natin yung given equation. Alpha x to the third times alpha y to the fifth plus 3 alpha x equals 8 alpha y to the third plus 1. Then shift, comma, solve for y, so alpha y. Then shift, solve. Yung inasay natin value sa x ay 0 dahil yun yung given. So, put 0. And then, solve for y. So, assign tayong value, let's say 1. Yung assume natin magiging value ng y. Then, equals. Okay, then, shift store a. Then, input ulit natin yung given equation. So, alpha x to the third times alpha y to the fifth plus 3 alpha x equals... 8 alpha y to the third plus 1. Then shift, comma, alpha y to solve for y, shift, store, or shift, solve, I mean. So yung value natin ng x ngayon is 0 plus yung delta x natin na 1 raised to negative 5. Then solve for y, assign tayo ng value, let's say 1 ulit, equals... Okay, so shift store B. Then yung formula natin is alpha B minus alpha A over delta X na 1 raised to negative 5 equals. Okay, so 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, or approximately 0 0.5 or 1 half. So check natin sa choices kung anong sagot. So therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay. Next we have given quantity x plus y squared minus quantity x minus y squared equals x cubed plus y cubed, find dy over dx at 2, comma 2. Okay, so same lang din to sa example 3. Mayroon ulit tayong specific value ng x, which is yung x sub 1 natin dapat is 2. Ito yon tapos yung x sub 2 is 2 plus delta x na 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. And then, same procedure doon sa formula natin. Okay, so pakita ko sa calcul. Okay, so input muna natin yung given equation. Yung alpha x plus alpha y quantity squared minus alpha x minus alpha y quantity squared equals alpha x to the third plus alpha y to the third. Then shift comma alpha y to solve for y. Shift, solve. Assign tayo ng value ng x, yung given natin na 2. And then solve for y, assume tayo ng value ng y, let's say 1, equals, okay, so shift store a. Then, copy ulit natin yung equation, alpha x plus alpha y, quantity squared, minus alpha x minus alpha y, quantity squared, equals alpha x to the third, plus alpha y to the third, then shift, comma, alpha y, shift, solve. This time, yung value natin ng x is 2 plus yung delta x na 1 raised to negative 5. Then solve for y. Assign, assign tayo ng assume value for y. 1 ulit. Equals. So shift store b. And then yung formula is alpha b minus alpha a over yung delta x na 1 raised to negative 5. Equals. So 2.065 approximately 2. Okay, so check natin sa choices. Okay, so therefore the answer is letter D. Okay? Okay, so putulin ko muna dito yung calculator techniques part 7. So abangan nyo lang yung more uploads ko for engineering board exam calculator techniques. So next time upload ko naman yung calculator techniques part 8. Okay? So that's it for this video. So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.